Romanian Good Practices Romanian Background Part 1 The National Education Law No. 1 from 2011 includes a section on academic ethics, Articles 306 to 310. Each Romanian university has an ethics commission tasked with elaborating and applying a code of academic ethics and deontology addressed to the whole academic community, including teaching staff, students, and all other university personnel. The principles of implementing academic ethics rely on those stated of good practices in scientific research, technological development, and innovation, Law 206 from 2004, which set up the National Ethics Council for Scientific Research, Technological Development, and Innovation. Romanian Background Part 2 Each academic code of ethics imposes guidelines and provides fundamental values such as equality, respect of individual rights, transparency, the prevention of corruption, and also principles with respect to scientific research including funding, the prevention of plagiarism, and any form of abuse of authority. In 2019, Specific regulations aiming to prevent bullying and cyberbullying have been created with respect to school education, Law No. 1 from 2011. In higher education, such behavior is addressed by the codes of academic ethics of each university. Good Practice No. 1 Mandatory academic ethics and integrity courses for all master's students in all universities. Starting with the academic year 2018-2019, mandatory courses in academic ethics and integrity have been introduced by the Minister of Education for all master and doctoral programs. At the same time, for all bachelor programs, optional academic ethics courses must be provided according to Minister for National Education Order No. 3131 from 2018. The scope of this nationwide measure is to educate more and more students in this field in order to raise awareness with respect to the principles of transparency and the prevention of corrupt behavior for the youngest members of the academic community and potential future academic staff. Good practice number two, bullying and cyberbullying in school. Starting with 2019, a specific regulatory framework on bullying and cyberbullying has been created with the addition of respective provisions to the National Education Law No. 1 for 2011. A multi-level institutional procedure has been put into place so that the phenomenon can be thoroughly monitored and necessary measures taken quickly. Multi-level procedure to combat and prevent bullying, cyberbullying. School level. Teachers will participate in information programs and trainings. Each school will have a plan to combat violence. Action groups made up of teachers and other school staff for interventions on case basis. 2. School inspectorate at county level. Ensures cooperation with other state institutions, such as child care. 3. Central Administration, Ministry of Education, ensures coordination of measures, adapts legislation to match needs and requirements. Good practice number three. National Ethics Council for Scientific Research, Technological Development and Innovation. The council has been created in 2004 by law number 206 by 2004. It has as its main scope the investigation of any notifications regarding misconduct in activities of research and development. If the findings are positive and misconduct has been proven to have taken place, the Council will recommend sanctions to the competent authorities such as research institutions or even law enforcement. The Council has created a guide for integrity in scientific research. The scope of the guide is threefold, to define values, principles and identify good practices to ensure integrity, to evaluate the relevance and role of different values, principles or actions, and to state recommendations addressed to all actors, stakeholders in research. Good practice number four, EduPedu, a news platform for education. The biggest community followed by stakeholders and users of educational system in Romania. 
The EduPedo Association for Education is a non-governmental organization created in 2018 with the aim of providing correct and transparent information on all governmental measures in education, including background information on new proposals. It serves the purpose of providing transparency regarding legal proposals, statistics and funding of state educational institutions, especially schools. The EduPedu News Platform also tries to provide only verified information and serves as a starting platform for discussions on educational topics for the civil society as it addresses all relevant stakeholders in education from students to parents and teachers, enabling them to form correct opinions. Good practice number five. Open Science Knowledge Hub Romania. It was created with the dual mission of providing national support and being the main connector with international initiatives in the field of open science, free access to scientific results financed from public funds. Through the hub, Executive Agency for Higher Education, Research Development and Innovation Funding aims to support the research and innovation communities, contribute to setting the national agenda towards an open system of research results, and contribute to the EU's open science strategy by creating and maintaining a national dialogue platform for disseminating relevant information and discussing the needs of the scientific community, decision makers and other categories of actors interested in open science, coordinating the process of elaborating the national open science strategy, managing a portfolio of projects in the field of open science and innovation based on freely shared data, and facilitating alignment with European policies and initiatives through involvement in international networks, such as current collaborations with national representatives, open air, national initiatives for open science and research data alliance. Good practice number six, gender equality plan. Executive Agency for Higher Education, Research, Development and Innovation Funding is the first public institution in Romania to undertake the elaboration and implementation of a gender equality plan as a partner in the EU Caliper project. The gender equality plan is an instrument that on the one hand reiterates some of the values that are central to the institution's governance, such as equality, inclusion, diversity and transparency, and on the other hand, proactively responds to challenges to ensure that gender equality principles are upheld in all institutional processes and practices. The measures that are fundamental to the gender equality plan are human resources, a recruitment and selection process, working conditions and reconciling family and professional life, career progress. Institutional governance, establish and ensure the operationalization of an internal organism to coordinate the implementation of the plan. Institutional communication, internal and external gender sensitive communication. Moral sexual harassment, includes a guide to define, acknowledge and report harassment. Research funding, analysis of funded projects, develop guides for evaluators, draft proposals for further recommendations. Innovation Ecosystem, Innovation Cafe, Implementing Gender Quotas Within Events. Conclusion National Ethics Council for Scientific Research, Technological Development and Innovation is the national organization acting as a guardian of ethics in research and development. Open Science Knowledge Hub Romania supports open science, free access to scientific results financed from public funds. EduPedu Community News, events, statistics, interviews about education. Bullying and cyberbullying in school. National initiatives that affect all schools. Ethics and academic integrity. Mandatory academic ethics and integrity courses for all master students in all universities. Gender equality plan. National initiative that is implemented to public and private organizations. Thank you for your attention.